Point O is the center of both circles in the figure above. If the circumference of the large circle is 36 and the radius of the small circle is half of the radius of the large circle, what is the length of the darkened arc? When they tell us the circumference of the large circle is 36, we can write this equation right here. When they tell us the radius of the small circle is half the radius of the large circle, then we can write this. From knowing the circumference of the large circle, we can figure out the radius of the large circle by using 2 pi r for c. Dividing by 2 pi gives us the radius of the large circle as 18 over pi. Then we can plug that in to figure out the radius of the small circle. So the radius of the small circle is half of 18 over pi. 18 over 2 is 9, so the radius of the small circle is 9 over pi. Well, they want to know the length of the darkened arc. Let's call that A. Well, that darkened arc is a piece of the circumference of the small circle. If it was 90 degrees, then 90 out of 360 would just be a fourth, so it would be a fourth of the circumference of the small circle. But since it's 80, we have to put 80 over 360 times the circumference of the small circle. The circumference of the small circle can just be figured out by doing 2 pi times the radius of the small circle. And we know the radius of the small circle. We know it's 9 over pi. Now we can cancel the pi's. We can cancel these zeros. 8 over 36, that's 4 over 18. So we have 4 over 18 times 2 times 9, but 2 times 9 is 18, so that cancels with the 18, and we're just left with 4.